you ready? <laughs> okay, when were you born? March 1st, 1947. Okay, um, where were you born? Endicott, New York. Um, like, where, do you know where specifically? Uh, I don't remember the name of the hospital, but it was at the hospital in Endicott. Um. I remember my mother telling that my uncle took her to the hospital in a horse and sleigh because there was about two foot of snow on the ground. Wow. Um. Do you know what your nationality is? English. Um, what do you know about the family name? Not much. Okay. Just um, I've had it all my life. <laughs> um, So much of these odd questions. Oh, do you know anything about your grandparents? I got to meet my grandfather on my father's side when I was 16. Okay. Um, I hadn't seen him most of my life. Do you know his name? His name was Harold Nichols, too. Okay. I was named after my granddad. Um. What were the full names of your own parents? My father is Clifford Arthur Nichols. Okay. My mother was Esther Grace Nichols. like? Well, my father I didn't know until I was about 16 because my mother and him divorced when I was real small. Mother was a real nice mother. Um, how did they make a living? My father worked when I was real small for Fox Chase Farms. And after that, he went to work at uh, Remington Rand in Elmira, so he told me. And he got laid off from there, and then he went to work at GTE Sylvania in Tawanda until he retired. Okay. My mother met my stepfather, and she was a farm wife. Milking cows and cleaning barn, and feeding chickens, and so forth. Um, how many aunts or, or, and uncles did you have? I didn't have any aunts and uncles. I had uh, quite a lot of great aunts and uncles. Mm -hmm. Like about 12 of them on my mother's side. Wow. <laughs> and I can't remember all their names. <clears throat> <laughs> Who are your favorite relatives? My grandmother on my mother's side. Um, how many brothers or sisters did you have? I don't have any full brothers or sisters. I have three half-sisters and two stepsisters and one stepbrother. Um, what were they like young? That I don't know because I didn't know them until I was 16. Okay. Um... Where did you live as a child? Ogdensburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, tell me what life was like when you were young and growing up. Well, I was a typical farm boy. I was the only child on a farm. You got up at four in the morning and went to work. 
Mm. You went to bed when the sun went down. Mm. Um, what did you look like when you were young? Same as I do now, only younger. <laughs> I've seen the pictures. <laughs> uh, I think you've got some pictures. Yeah. Um, did you have a nickname? Mm, yeah. What was it? Pickles. <laughs> Why was that? Because I used to carry pickles in my lunch when I went to grade school. I take them. I love pickles, <laughs> and I had them every day in my lunch pail. And the kids started calling me Pickles. Um, you know, still, once in a while, I see somebody and they call me that. <laughs> How much schooling did you have? I had 12 years of school. Then I had some Bo Tech school and I was working in the factory. What was your favorite subject? Ag class. What? Ag class. <laughs> Vocational agriculture. Oh. Um, what subject did you dislike? Well, let's see, there was math and English and ancient history. <laughs> so you didn't like school? I wasn't real good at school because I was always tired from working on a farm. Mm. I Homework I had a hard time with because I had to go home from school and go to work in the barn until 7, 7.30 at night and by the time I got ready to hit the books I was falling asleep at the books. Um, did you have a favorite teacher? Probably. His name was Mr. Hess. He was an ag teacher. <laughs> um, in, what did, in what ways did he influence you? He was just a nice person. Instilled that in everybody. He didn't tolerate anybody picking on anybody in class. That's good. Um, did you work as a child? No, I've already said that. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it says though. Yeah, I, I spent my life working on the farm. Um, did you have any like games that you played? Mother and I used to play Monopoly <laughs> and Chinese checkers. We'd have the card table set up with one or the other and we any spare time we'd sit endlessly and play them two games. Uh, um it says talk about a favorite your favorite pet or toy. I didn't have any pets as a kid. Uh, about the only favorite toy I had was a bicycle. Every place I went I was riding my bicycle. I'd ride it from the house to the barn and back to the house. Rode it in the winter and the summer. Out through the pasture to catch the cows. Mm. Who are your best friends and what did you do together? Mm, well, I had a couple. Dan Bastion was one and Russell Terry was another. And we did a lot of bike riding. We used to go swimming on Sunday afternoon because our families didn't believe in doing any farm work on Sunday except for barn chores. So in the summertime we'd go fishing and swimming in the creeks. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Ride our bikes to do it. What is the happiest memory in your childhood and when did it happen? Oh gosh. I can't think of any one thing. You know what I mean? Probably when I was eight years old, I got my bicycle. The only bicycle I had till I got my driver's license. <laughs> I rode that for eight years. Uh, what was the saddest time? When my great-grandmother great died. I can't tell you the year now. It was like 1956, I think. Somewhere in the early 50s. What beliefs or ideals do you think your parents tried to teach you to live your life? Help one another. Be honest with one another. Um, what do you think influenced your life the most when you were young? In what way? Well, I, Grandma and my mother always went to church on Sunday, and I was always with them. 
every Sunday. I even walked to church through the snow. It was about a mile and a half. What were your teenage years like? Like any other teenager. <laughs> Frantic. What goals did you have? To grow up and get a job so I had my own independence. What did you do after high school? I got a job in a factory in the fall of 1965. I graduated in 1965 and I met your grandmother in October and we were married in January. <laughs> um, if you went to college, what did you study? I didn't go to college, hon. Okay. Um, what led you to ch choose the type of work that you did? Paycheck. <laughs> um, what was there that you liked the most? What was? What was there that you liked the most? Job security. <laughs> the least? Some of the people. <laughs> when did you meet Grandma? In October of 1965. Um, under what circumstances? I was changing a flat tire on my car and she stuck her head out the window of her car and says, get a horse, you wouldn't have a flat tire. <laughs> and that weekend we had a date to go horseback riding. Um, how old were you when you met? I was 18. What was your courtship like? Uh, just a series of dates and we spent a lot of time together and did a lot of horseback riding. I'd never been on a horse before in my life till then. <laughs> what was like, life like in the early days of your marriage? Yeah, it was hard because we had a family and a home and I worked seven days a week and sometimes 12 or 16 hours a day in a factory. Where did you live? Right here. Um. Big Pond, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> um. When did you have children? Well, Drew was born in November of 1966 and your father was born in October of 1970. Um, who, who were they named after? You'd have to ask Grandma and Drew. It was some guy she knew before I met her. <laughs> and your father, believe it or not, is named after Clint Eastwood. Because, um. because uh, we were at a movie while she was expecting him, one of Clint Eastwood's movies, and we decided on that for her name. When you think back to when they were young, what stories come to mind about them? Well, I was just talking to your Uncle Mike about that tonight. We got a, an old Super 8 movie camera reel of your Uncle Drew chasing a frisbee like a dog. We'd throw the frisbee out and he'd run out and get it and bring it back for us to throw again. What, did he get it with his mouth? What's that? Did he get it with his mouth? No, he'd pick it up and carry it back. <laughs> and um, now I lost my place. And your father was, he had an old Tonka toy bulldozer and he'd plow the snow off of our deck with it when we had snow. How did they change your life? How does any children change your life? Makes it better. Very proud of both boys. What major accomplishment? What have been the major accomplishments in your life? Working long enough so I could retire. <laughs> I built a home, built a barn. What have been the biggest problems? Haven't had any real big problems. I don't believe. How do you think you've changed over the years? I've gained about 60 pounds, <laughs> gotten gray, 
Got four wonderful grandchildren. <laughs> um, if you were to give any advice to me or any other young adults today, what would it be? Get a good education. Um, what have you learned from life? If you treat people right, they'll treat you right. What has been the biggest surprise? Biggest surprise? Gosh, I don't know of any big surprises. What do you think your strengths are? Trying to be a good person. What special things do you know or do that which you are proud? Special things. I guess I'm just kind of handy at a little bit of everything. I don't know if there's anything special. What activities do you enjoy most? I like to ride a horse while I can get time. Uh, I like to go deer hunting when I get time. All right, we're almost done. Um, what interesting places have you visited? Well, we haven't done a lot of traveling, but uh, the two I can think of, two trips we've taken in the 43 years we've been married, was the first one in 1985 when we went to Del Rio, Texas to visit your Uncle Drew. And the second trip we took was a year and a half ago when we went to Chicotee, Virginia. Um, what are your fondest memories of them? Of the trips? Yeah. Well, I'd never seen the country, so when we went to Texas we got to see almost all the way across the United States. Uh, Virginia, we had never seen the ocean before and we walked on the beach for like four hours. <laughs> Did you get a sunburn? No, it was in April and there uh, wasn't much sun. It was cool, but mm. it was nice down there. What is your favorite time of the year? Boy, I don't know. I like all times except for winter. <laughs> I like Christmas. I just don't like cold weather. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. <laughs> if you were granted one wish, what would it be? One wish. It's a hard one. That's a tough one. I guess to, uh, if I had to live my life over, I'd want to live it the same way I did. Um, when did you first open the shop? 1995. Um, do you have a collection? Do I have a collection? Yeah. Well, I've got a few pocket knives I've collected over the years. That, uh, I've got a little model train collection and it don't get set up. It sits here behind me on the mail. Um, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal? That's got to be a horse, <laughs> of course. Um, Um, are there any thoughts that you'd like to add? As to... Anything. I really don't think of anything. Well, I guess that's it. That's it. Okay. Over now. Thank you.